Hello listeners, welcome to our today's lesson on basic science and technology. We are going to talk about analog and digital communication systems and ICT access level. Dr. Mrs. Chikeze PA is my name. Lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, learners should be able to define the concepts of the topic. Say what communication system is. Describe the nature of communication system. Explain analog and digital signals. Differentiate between analog and digital communication systems. And explain the ICT asset level of analog and digital systems. The introduction. The communication that occurs in our day-to-day -day life is in form of signals. These signals, such as sound signal, generally are analog in nature. When communication needs to be established over a distance, then the analog signals are sent through wires using different techniques for effective transmission. Analog signals meant for long distance suffer distortions, interferences, and other losses, generally known as noise, including security breach. In order to overcome these problems, the signals are digitized using different techniques. The digitized signals allow communication to be more clear and accurate without losses. What is a communication system? Communication system is a system that describes communication with many hardware and software tools. Radio and television broadcasting, telecommunication, data networks, Information system and satellite communications are all examples. What is the nature of a communication system? Every communication system is with the several basic elements, namely information source, transmitter, channel, receiver, and destination. Analog and Digital Communication Systems Communication electrons can be classified into either analog or digital based on the type of signal transmitted. In analog communication, analog signals are transmitted. An analog signal is continuous signal which represents physical measurement. Traditionally, in telephone and radio systems, the messages consisted of information conveyed by voice. There may be noise in this type of communication, which may lead to abuse or less of information. On the other hand, Digital communication system may, take, may make use of analog links and concepts. Data is commonly used in digital communication systems. Data is any form of information that has been put into digital form so that it can be handled by a digital system. Digital signals are discrete in nature and represent sequence of voltage pulses. These are used within circuits of computer. There is no fear of noise or loss of information in this type of communication system. Digitized signals allow communication to be clear and accurate. ICT access level. ICT 
which stands for Information and Communications Technology, is the infrastructure and component that enable modern computing. Examples are cell phones, computer, internet, and a host of others. These can be used in making calls, sending messages, watching videos, listening to music, playing games, searching for information. In any of these medium, data is sent over physical medium. It needs to first be con converted into electromagnetic signals. These data can be analog or digital. Analog signals are continuous wave in nature and represented by continuous electromagnetic wave. Digital signals are discrete in nature and represent sequence of voltage pulses. These are used within the circuits of the computer. Example of analog signal is human voice. Example of digital signal is file or disk. Summary. Every communication from any source is first converted to signals through a medium which travels through in an attempt to reach the destination. The distance between the source and destination might involve millions of kilometers away. If it is voice message, there might be interferences and distortion, which may lead to loss of information. This can be overcome by use of data or digital communication means. Analog communication is cheaper and uses less bandwidth why digital communication is costlier and use broad bandwidth. Listeners, we are going to measure the understanding, our understanding of this lesson using these few questions. One, define analog communication system Define digital communication system. Two, what is communication system? Three, describe the nature of communication system. Four, explain analog and digital signals. And five, how can we use ICT to assess analog and digital communication systems? Thank you for listening.